Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, and welcome to another tutorial. Today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to enable console commands. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into the file where you have Farming Simulator located. So this is where you have your mods, your save files, and all that jazz. So what you're looking for is the game.xml right here. And what you wanna do is you wanna open this up in a text editor of sorts. Anyone will do this is uh, Notepad++. So what you're looking for is the development section right here. You want to change this from false to true. That will enable console commands. Now as far as I know, it's irreversible, so take that into consideration. So what exactly does enabling console commands do? So what it enables you to do is, let's just hop into a game right here. So what it will enable you to do is it'll enable you to see things like trigger points, frame rates, uh, the log file and stuff like that. So let me just give you a quick little demonstration of what that actually does. Okay. So here we are in game right now and let's say I want to bring up the log. So all I need to do is press the tilde key which is the key just to the left of the number one. So that brings up your log right there. Uh, if you press F1 that brings that up obviously. If you press F2 that brings up your FPS right in the top right hand corner there. If you press F3 that doesn't do anything as far as I can tell. I think it does something, but it's not obvious. Uh, F4 does this. This is more for development. F5 will bring up your trigger points. Let me give you a demonstration of how that works. Uh, so what you're looking for with the trigger points would be things like, oh, here's a good point. So here we have the conveyor belts right here for sugar beets and whatnot. So let me just show you what it looks like. So if I bring up F5, see this orange box right here? That is the trigger point for this conveyor belt. So if you put a tipper underneath that, that will be where it gets triggered to unload. Also, if you press F5 and you bring up, here we go. If I press F5 twice, you bring up this. And this is like your light corona, they're called. And that will allow you to see that. I don't find that helpful personally, but the trigger points is helpful. If you press F6, doesn't do anything there specifically. F7, F, I think if you're in a vehicle, actually, there's someone that will change. Let me just see here. No, I think it's maybe it's F8. Yeah, there it is. F8 is your render stats right there. We'll bring up that information if you're interested. And then you can change it to this type of stuff and that type of stuff. So your scripts and whatnot. So all that jazz. So it depends what you're looking for. If you're just looking for be able to see the trigger points, you just F5 is the one you use for that, and that's it. Uh, also, if you want to enable other kind of commands, you can bring up this menu once again, and you hit the tilde key. So that'll bring up the menu. You hit tilde key again, the little squiggly line key, and then you can press tab, and that'll bring up the different commands you can use. So enable frame rate limit, exit, frame rate limit FPS, giant save, auto save, interval, clean i3d file, draw, set day time so you can set the time you want to, um, you can go through all this stuff, high quality, show frame rate, start in-game mission, start rain. So if you want to enable some of these, all you need to do is put true and then it will start to rain. So here we changed it and it should start to rain at some point. So if I speed up time a little bit, there you go. If I go back to that same same section right there. Now I put false. Now it should. No, oh, maybe not. Oh, there it goes. So it stops. Um, that gives you an idea of how it works. Um, so you can do that with all sorts of things. The one I tend to use a lot is is the fly. Uh, where is it? Here. So toggle flight and no HUD mode. So you press true and that will allow you to fly. So you hit J and then you hit Q and this will allow you to fly like this. So just like that. And then also if you press O, that will hide your HUD. So keep that in mind if you're using a Cedar. Anyways, that's how you use console commands uh, in game. And uh, that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, and that's it. My name's Ian Robson. This has been Farming Simulator 2015 tutorial. Catch you guys later.